crucial new evidence in a horrifying terror attack. Closed circuit TV footage from the Mogadishu airport. On the right side of the screen, two airport employees who are now suspects. One of them's holding what appears to be a laptop computer. Just seconds later, one of the men hands the computer to a third man. The computer, a source says, was packed with explosives. It's chilling, frankly, to see this, you know, because this is, you know, if you and I were in this lounge right now, you'd see these two people and you'd see them handing off that laptop. You wouldn't think twice of it. The man the laptop bomb was handed to, Abdullahi Abdesalam Borle, and what he did with it, according to Somali sources, was try to blow up the Somali passenger jet. Well, at the moment, the Somalis clearly suspect he was a willing participant, that he planned to be a suicide bomber, that he positioned himself uh, on the aircraft uh, at a place where he could uh, create the maximum amount of damage. The bomb ripped a hole in the fuselage. Borle was killed when he was blown out of the hole. His right hand and right foot are missing. The pilot made an emergency landing. Amazingly, no one else was killed in the February 2nd attack. Tonight, a source close to the investigation tells CNN correspondent Robin Creel the laptop bomb was sophisticated and got past a fairly advanced X-ray machine at the Mogadishu airport. CNN is told one of those airport employees who are suspects placed the laptop on an X-ray belt before it was handed to the bomber in the departure lounge. The capabilities that they would have to get through security by doing a little bit of social engineering, just distracting or saying, hey, I got this one, uh, open up all kinds of sinister possibilities. U.S. officials tell CNN they believe al-Shabaab, the vicious al-Qaeda affiliate in Somalia, is behind the attack. But the plot's gotten thicker. Just three days after the plane bombing, the two airport workers were in a car in Mogadishu when it exploded. One was killed because he was still in the car. The other had got out of the car to go to a shop. Now tonight, a Somali official tells me investigators believe the two men may have been targeted to prevent them from talking to authorities. The official says the suspect who survived this car bombing is now in custody and he's giving information. The official would not say what information that is.